Qualitative research and education was my favorite read because it was very understandable. Um, I liked the organization of the book. It just made a lot of sense to me. Chapter one was on the introduction and overview of the field of qualitative research. And chapter two was learning how to be a qualitative researcher. Um, qualitative research deals with questions about how and why. It involves extended data collection, and it requires the researcher to organize data using coding, themes, or other tools, and engages the research in interpreting the meaning of data. They also compared and contrast between qualitative and quantitative methods of research. Um, so when talking about the theoretical up here, um, a qualitative researcher uh, uh, deals in multiple realities. Realities it is constructed by the observer. Um, the, uh, the objectivity is not the goal. Subjectivity is the goal. Like for the researcher to be subjected is expected from a qualitative research uh, researcher because it takes all of that into account. The background of the person that's doing the research, the gender, the culture, the ethnicity, all of that is taken into account. Um, so the researcher is central to any study that is done. Um, they're not interested in generalizations and cause and effect. So they're not really worried about that. But they want, pe they want people to apply to own situations. There are multiple ways of knowing. So we can learn about something in many ways. That's, that's the viewpoint of a qualitative researcher. Practically speaking, the purpose of qualitative research is to understand and interpret social interactions. Um, the groups studied tend to be smaller, non-random. Researchers may get involved in the lives of those that they study. The variables are um, the study of whole rather than specific variables. And the type of data collected um, has an emphasis on words, increasing interest in visual data. Um, the type of data and analysis is coding and themes, and some people use con computers. And then the writing style is less formal and more personal. There are 10 critical elements of qualitative research, description, understanding, and interpretation of human be behavior. So, it's, so qualitative research is really steeped in um, trying to really describe and understand and interpret human behavior. They're not just concerned with numbers, but they want to know what's actually going on. It's very dynamic, and there's no single way of doing something. So you can go about your research in several different ways, and that still be acceptable. It's based on inductive thinking. So inductive thinking, it start. It doesn't. It's, it doesn't start with theory. It's, it starts with observations, and based on those op observations, you think of, re of what you could research, and then based on that, you um, collect data, and then you could arrive at a theory. It's also holistic, so it's trying to look at the whole picture. Um, you get a variety of data in natural settings as opposed to laboratories. So if you wanted to study something about a classroom, you would actually go to the classroom and setting. The role of the researcher is subjective. So everything is taken into account. Um, the researcher does not try to be objective. And it's a very in-depth study. And it's dealing mainly in words, themes, and writing, as opposed to quantitative research that's dealing mainly with numbers. Well, it's nonlinear in that um, you go back and forth between um, processes. So you may collect data and figure out that you need to change your research questions. So you're, you can go back and forth within the qualitative method. When seeking a research question, um, the, the book helps us to find a starting point. And the starting point that the book talks about is people, concepts, places, and events. Um, chapter 1, Introduction to the Discipline and Practice of Qualitative Research. Um, that speaks about the, it speaks a lot about the same things that the other books spoke about, so I'm not going to repeat all of that. And then the main thing that stands out to me is the qualitative research as a process. Last thing I read was five things to do after your article is published in the qualitative report.